Oh, hey guys, um, today I wanted to show you on an example of Ratchet and Clank on how you can use my new tool uh, to make your own code cave. So first of all you want to attach to uh, the process. So I, I have already got my health address right here. I, I found it in, uh, in the search function. And what you want to do is like copy it. I can I can show you it. That's my health address. Just let me open the memory viewer. Like that's my health right here. You can see if I someone hits me. See how it went down. If I put this to four seven, probably poke. See how it's gone to like crazily high number. But uh, the thing with Ratchet and Clank is, is this won't stick at all. Like if you restart your game or even fly to a different planet, your health address will be different. So the first step is getting like your instruction that sets your health. And we're gonna use a debugger for that. So you wanna attach the debugger and then input your health address. You can peek and what you want to do is set a, a watch point with the length of 4 and write only and just hit set watch point. And this will now wait for something to be executed on your health. So if someone hits me this will actually uh, trigger a watch point and give me the address of, of the instruction. So if I peek that and look at that in assembly, it's that instruction right here. You want to copy that one. That's my original bytes. So when there comes an issue with some games. If you would just knob all of these, it's most likely going to break the game for like everything that has health, even crates or something. So every enemy will have god mode as well. So what we will do, let me just show you that real quick. Just knob this whole thing. And then resume the process. You can see how I'm not getting damage anymore. But at the same time, if I try to damage an enemy, it's the same thing. They don't die. Or even if I try to hit like something like, like this thing sticking out here, nothing gets damaged anymore. And the whole purpose of this is to separate like our health from the enemy health. And to do that we need a code cave. So, what you want to do is, um, since you've noted down your bytes here, you want to reverse this to the original instruction, like how it was before. You don't need to do any of these, it's just showcasing, like normally you wouldn't even edit this. So, okay, so it's all back to normal. Uh, what you want to do now is detach the debugger, because we won't need that anymore. And open our register compare. Okay, so as you can see in our um, function, it uses the RBX register. And at the offset of 3CO is our health. So you want to select your register, which is RBX and then put in our address to watch right here and then just hit watch address now as soon as anything gets executed on our health address you will get a uh, uh, hit in this list so for example if I hit uh, this box right here you already get a hit but we don't need it for the box uh, you want to compare it with our health and the enemy so just get hit once There we go. So this is our health address. You want to right click this and 
open it. Just keep this for later. And let me just clear the list. And then we hit an enemy. And the next address comes up. And we want to open that as well. So on the left side, this is our enemy. On the right side, this is me. So you just want to peek. Make this a little bit bigger. Peek here as well. So what we want to find here is something that is different from our enemies. Like this is our whole structure and then this is the enemy structure. Now you just want to find anything that that's like outstanding. So what, what you could use for example, just see how uh, maybe this, this space isn't empty for the enemies right here. So you would look at uh, your, your start plus this offset. You just copy that, paste it in here, hit enter. This is going to jump to that address. So it's it's also 000 for the enemy. Uh, so you want to keep looking. What else could we use? Maybe something like our FFF. That's actually at 440. Copy that in here. Compare it. See how there's some, something different for the enemy? So we could use that, for example. Let's just leave that, that to open, because we might uh, need to compare even more if it's not working. You want to stop watching here, close out of that window, and then open your code cave helper. So this already has a bit of preset code in here. Also our address, copy that in here. So what you want to do with, with this preset code, you want to move into any free register, which in this case we will just try ESI, and then move our value in here, like FFFF. We've already done it here. A times F. And then we want to compare this to our register start, plus 440. So we want to type that in here. And we want to compare that to ESI. And all you gotta do now is just write jump and code cave. What this will do is create the whole cave for you and write it directly to your game memory. And now let's see if we can get hit. That guy's hitting me and I don't don't lose any health. And I can try kill him and see how he dies. Okay, so let's try it again. I'm on 94 health. And 49 health. I'm not losing any. But I can kill the enemies. And if you want to take a look at what's uh, just been done by the tool, you can just click on the cave button. This will bring up your location that the cave has been written to. And you can look in this assembly view. How it's just written exactly our code in here. Move ESI and then compare it. And this is actually our original instruction that we just wrote down before. It tool does everything for you. It moves the original instruction here and also does the jumping back for you. And you can look at the jump. This is our at our original address right here. And it just wrote this jump to it. So what, what this does is jump to our code cave and then compare everything and then decide whether to jump back to the original instruction, which subtracts our health, or just jump back to the one after that, which does not subtract our health. And this is how we separate uh, our health from the enemy health.